Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today, we are going to be resurfacing uh, my ironing board. Um, we are going to take it off, take off the old cover, and we're going to put on the new cover. And the new cover is going to have this awesome tulip pink uh, banana fabric put on it. And it looks a fantastic. I'm so excited to show it to you. You're going to love it. As a matter of fact, I love it so much. I'm thinking about redoing the smaller ironing board that I use um, for smaller projects. So anyway, I am going to just jump right in and start showing you how to do this. Um, I will apologize in advance. My dog was playing with his ball. He was having a good time because he was down here with me and my husband while we were putting this together. But I think you'll find that this is a really fun and easy project to do. And if you are looking to do something like this for yourself, I highly recommend doing it. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to repurpose the ironing board that I had. So you might remember this pattern here. We are pulling out all of the staples. We used an electric staple gun before to put these down. And we're taking the um, staples out with um, a screwdriver, hammer, and some pliers. It's the best way to get it up. It's also the easiest way. Um, just be careful if you're going to do this yourself to do that. The reason we're repurposing is because um, it's just a little bit too big for the table. And so we're going to cut it down just a bit. Brandon's going to take it outside to his saw and cut it to the right size. And you can see how he is pulling that up. So now we're pretty much staple free. How long do you think it took us to remove all those staples, babe? Oh, 20 minutes. So yeah, wasn't too bad. Maybe um, you can see we stapled the heck out of this last time. I'm not certain that we'll do that that much this time, but we'll see. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn this off until he gets this cut down. Cleaning the craft room today. It is a mess. Just proof that it gets to be real messy in here. Because I know sometimes people don't believe me, but it does. All right, so we are ready to start covering our board, our ironing board. Um, I did learn how to do this from Donna Jordan of Jordan Fabrics. And so I will also link down below in the description box so you can check out her video because it's pretty awesome. Um, her and her husband did this. My husband and I did this, what, two years ago? And um, it has worked great, but now it is time for it to be recovered because, you know, well, when you're quilting and stuff, you get lots of stuff on your, your ironing boards. So, um, what I do is I have this big roll of batting, and my husband's going to help me with this. Um, and if you don't have a big roll of batting, you're going to need to get enough batting for your ironing board. This is covered, or I'm sorry, doubled up. So it's folded in half. It's coming off the bolt that way. So I do two layers of batting. And this one, I believe, is 25 by 90. Um, and this is the Pellon brand 100% cotton batting. So you just need some cotton batting. So Brandon's just going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to just cut here because that's enough batting for me to cover. We don't want to have you don't want too, much. too much waste here because then it gets really bulky underneath. So I'm just going to cut this. This is really an easy thing to do. So now we're done with our batting and we can just move this and put this big roll away. All right. Thanks, Brandon. Yep. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to flatten this out on the board. 
and this one's big so you can see that it's a little bit you know a little bulkier to work with but you can do this on a smaller board um whatever and i use old kitchen tables for my ironing board and also my cutting space so i picked these up at thrift stores and that's what i i use um my sister gave me which one did amy give me this one the one that we're currently on is the one that my sister had it's her old table and so I mean, just reuse things that you have laying around. So if you want a bigger ironing board or a bigger cutting space, that's one way to get around it. I am going to be using um, my Tula Pink Bright Banana fabric here. I love this. I think it's gonna be so much fun in here. Um, and it's really a fabric that I have enough of to cover this because this is quite a large board. So you wanna make sure that you have enough fabric whatever you decide to use to cover and so that's what I'm going to do here and I will have a little bit of extra left over which is great because you know I can use this in another project as well and oh it's so cute I love this love this love this what do you think Brandon isn't that cool so fun. I think I should dye my hair this color. Dr. Seuss pink. Hot pink. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. I did have pink hair at one time. Remember when I dyed my hair pink? I do. It looked kind of cool. All right, Jax, you got to move. So now they want to cut the... Yeah. So now what we're going to do, now that I have this laid out, and this is, it's overlapping a little bit here. So I've got this covering all my ends, okay? So now I'm going to trim off the excess that you can't see over here on the corner, but I'm going to just trim that off. All right, so. Make sure you get into both of them, okay? We are putting down the batting first. We've decided to do that instead. All right, so now we're going to do the ends. So now we've got our batting put on to our, our ironing board. And it doesn't look pretty on that side, but it looks pretty on the important side. So it's nice and flat, smooth. Okay, so now we're gonna put the fabric on. And this is what we were having some troubles with. So you wanna make sure that we get this on here nice and even. Because it will be important when Pulling this down. How much is on there? Is that enough? You can pull that down a little bit more. So a bit of an excess going on up there. There we go. Okay. I feel like I need to iron this. I agree. Before I start. I agree. Do you want me to turn it on? Um, yeah. Okay. Why don't you do We're going to iron this out first because it's got some wrinkles in it. So if you have wrinkles in yours and you already have your batting put on, you can do this as well. Everything is nice and smooth. We are going to flip this and then we are going to start stapling it and then I'll show you what it looks like. Ready? Jax, calm down, buddy. Well, he's got that ball going. You need to pull that one. It's tucked. Okay. Okay. There we go.
All right, finished product. This is what it looks like. It's all done. And that's how you cover your ironing board. Now, let me give you the measurements. Final measurements are 33 and a half by 48. All right, so that's all there is to it. It's easy peasy and it's a ton of fun and it adds so much character to your sewing space. Whether you have a large sewing space, a small sewing space, this is fun. And I feel like it makes it more of a happy place to be, especially when you're working on lots and lots of projects. So um, anyway, if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. Have a happy new year. I hope 2020 brings you many more happiness, blessings, and lots of joy. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.